Yeah. I got the head trainer Henry Ramirez right here in front of me. Uh, Henry, how do you grade your heavyweight? Even though he lost, were you happy? Were you satisfied with his performance? No, no. You know, you're never satisfied with the defeat. Obviously, you know, he fights hard, and um, I just wish, uh, you know, I just wish he would have been able to use the jab a little more, especially towards the end of the fight. Um, he, he was able to jab well early, and he was able to close the distance, and uh, you know, uh, land some, land a lot of combinations. But uh, Tomas adjusted and, and, and boxed a little more efficiently in the second half of the fight, and uh, that's what won it for him. You know, I mentioned to him that it looks like since that loss with Vitelli Kalisco, that seems to be the blueprint to beat your fighter. Now, do you guys feel you guys need to go back into the ring and maybe switch it up a little bit? Uh, you know, I don't know. You know, I think I think maybe. Uh, well, definitely, you got to get under 240. You know, it's just no questions about it. 250, the extra 10 to 12 pounds is slowing him down. Um, but uh, as far as uh, changing his game plan, Chris is going to be Chris. Chris is going to come out, look to fight guys. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll, we'll take a take a step back, see if we can get him to get up on his toes a little bit, not be so plotting. But uh, 240, 240. Eight weeks seem to be a, a beneficial for you guys. I mean, he did look trim. He looked strong. So... What a 12-week program for him, or or a little longer? No, nah, you know, eight and a half, nine weeks of, uh, you know, kind of the same things we've been doing. You know, maybe change some things up, and uh, like I said, we'll just move forward from this. Give uh, Adamek all the credit in the world, and uh, we'll see where we go. And when you're sitting down on the press conference right there, um, I can see in your face, man, the disappointment, and, and it looked like a little bit that you're a little angry with the the judgment. No, no, not not angry with the judgment. You know, I'm not going to say we were robbed and. I'm a firm believer in just calling it like I see it. Uh, I felt it was close, closer than the 117-111. I felt, you know, maybe we would have won the last round. Uh, could have been a draw. We were very close, but I uh, definitely don't think we lost by six points. It, it felt like a much closer fight, you know. And uh, But I'm, I'm not going to say uh, we were robbed or I felt had by the judges. You, you know? think Chris might have underestimated him? No, I don't think so. You know, we, we knew uh, Adamek moving up from Cruiserweight Division was uh, – a guy who who had won titles in two different divisions, and with that comes a championship mentality. So you can never underestimate a guy like that. Where do you see Adamek right now in the heavyweight division? Uh, definitely a top ten guy. Um, does he beat a Klitschko? Obviously not. Does he beat a David Hay? I don't. I don't think so. But you know, it's going to be an exciting fighter. You know, and he'll be in there and give give a lot of guys a tough fight. Thank you, brother.